All right, we're gonna jump right into a hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna have our knees stacked over our ankle and then just extend that leg out. Make sure both hands are firm, planted on the ground. And we don't want to let that knee pop out to the side. We want to draw in towards us. So we're just going to start to get into it by inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, sink down. So now just start to lower as far as you can towards the ground. You can drop to the forearms if you'd like. Just noticing kind of what your knees and hips are doing in here. And make sure we're keeping everything engaged in the stretch. And we're not trying to, if something's uncomfortable, we're not trying to escape that. We can always back out of it a little bit. So here we can inhale the arm up and reach back, bend the knee, and grab onto it. And that's going to add our quadricep stretch to the hips, hip flexor stretch. And again, we don't want to let that knee pop out to the side. Engage the inner thigh and draw it in towards us. Notice what your jaw, your shoulders, your neck, everything's doing. And as you come out of it, slowly release it with, without letting the leg just drop to the ground. We're going to switch straight into the other side. The same way, kind of start to sink into it after you have the knee stacked over the ankle. Exhale towards the ground. Inhale, lift the hip up. Exhale towards the ground. And as you're comfortable, you can drop down to your forearms. Check in with that knee, draw it towards your body. And if you'd like, you can add the twist, inhaling the arm up, bending the knee and reaching for the foot. Open the heart, stretch the shoulders, stretch the quadricep, the hip flexor. Entire body is working here. Really try and breathe into any area you're feeling this more. And trying to not run away from the stretch. Really go into it and feel what's going on in there. So next we're going to come to a seated position. One knee in, the other leg straight. You're going to pull back so you can feel the sits bones on the ground. Inhale the arms up twist towards the leg and then slowly lower down. You can cactus the arms if it becomes too much on the back. Trying to keep the spine straight instead of just collapsing down to begin with. Every inhale the spine gets longer. On your next exhale rounding forward letting your entire body relax into the knee. Inhale back up. We're going to take the, we'll twist the arm to the outside of the foot, and you're going to inhale, open up into a twisting hamstring stretch. Inhale back up. And now we're going to take it to the side. So right hand to right leg. Inhale the left arm up. Really try and open the shoulder. You can add a little pulse to it. Inhale, just reaching back or exhaling, whichever breath feels more natural. And then releasing down on your next exhale, taking both feet down to your foot, really stretching the side body out. Inhaling back up. Exhaling, switching sides. So coming to the side again, coming down slowly in that straight back, adding the cactus arms if you need. And with every inhale, extending the spine out longer. When you're ready, exhale, just fold forward, relax into the stretch. Inhaling back up, reaching opposite hand to the outside of that foot again. Inhale, twist, feel the spine, hamstring working together. Inhale up. Taking the left hand to the left foot, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Add that pulse if you'd like, inhaling or exhaling, whichever feels more natural. Loosening the shoulder up. And exhale, both hands down to the foot. 
Really feel the side of the body stretching here. Inhaling back up. And we're going to bring both legs out straight. Reach back on the sits bones again. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Go ahead and let the spine round, head relax. Inhale, flat back. Take your opposite hand to the outside of the foot again. Now twist. Exhale, twist on the other side. And fold forward. Now you're going to inhale up nice and straight. Your forearm is going to come down behind you. You're going to thread the arm through. So you're going to exhale, reach back. Inhale up. Exhale, reach back. Inhaling up. So here it's natural. You might feel some crack popples in your in your back. And inhale up. Fold forward. And we're gonna go to the other side. Bring the forearm down. Exhale, thread the arm through. Inhaling back up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. So we're going to come down onto our stomach, inhaling up, squeezing shoulder blades together, starting to stretch the back side of the body and the abdomen. You can inhale up to as far as it feels comfortable. Being aware of what your neck is doing and where it feels best. Exhale, release it back down towards the ground. You can bend one leg, reach back for the foot. Your other arm is at a 90 degree angle with the forearm on the ground. You're going to inhale, lift the leg up, kick the foot into the hand. So you're trying to get the top of the thigh off the ground to stretch the quadriceps. And release it. Go ahead and reach back on the other side. Get the arm planted. Inhale up. Once you're there for a little bit, try and lift the thigh higher off the ground to get deeper into the quadricep. And release. We're going to push back up into our cobra. Inhaling. See if you can drop the head back a little bit further this time. And we're going to exhale back into a down dog. So in this down dog, what we're going to do is actually bring our feet closer together as if they're touching. And this is going to get deeper into our calf muscles. You can bend one knee, straighten the other leg if it feels comfortable. You can keep both legs straight. And then check in with your back. So roll the shoulders down and back. With each exhale, Imagine that you're drawing your chest closer towards your thighs. And then we're going to come to a seat. You're going to bring one leg under, the other leg over. And as you twist, inhale, reach to the sky, and then exhale, twist. And you can bind if you'd like. The arm's going to go through the leg. And the other hand reaches back behind the back to meet. As we're sitting, we're inhale, imagining our crown is lifting towards the sky. Exhale, our spine's twisting a little bit further. From here, we're going to release into a double pigeon. So we need to have our feet flexed, knees at a 90 degree angle. That's okay if they're not completely flat. Listen to your body and where you're at and what your hip can allow today. We can lean forward if we would like more. Or we can leave the leg up wherever it feels comfortable. And check in with your back, spine straight, jaw relaxed. And we're going to switch sides and twist to the other. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. When you're ready, if you'd like to add that bind, one arm goes through. The other reaches back. And inhale, straighten the spine out again. With every exhale, feel the spine twisting. With every inhale, feel the spine extending. And 
that we're going to release back into our double pigeon on the other side. Feet flexed, knees in a 90 degree angle, remembering one side of the body can feel completely different than the other. And it's good to check in and notice where you're at. Don't try and push one side to meet where the other side is at. And from here, we're going to sit in a comfortable seat. Go ahead and extend one arm out to the side. Drop the ear to the other shoulder. So then you want to slightly turn your head as if you're kind of looking off in the distance a little bit. And you're going to notice your neck feels like ukulele strings. So you're trying to find that spot and then extend both arms out and just breathe into it. And go ahead and switch sides, extend one arm, drop the ear to the other side. Once you're in it, twist slightly towards the ground like you're looking off in the distance. Find those ukulele strings, extend both arms, and breathe. And then we're just going to relax the hands onto the knees. Inhale, imagine your breath going all the way up from your seat, up out of your crown of your head, and then you're exhaling, releasing back into the ground. Inhaling, feeling the fullest breath. Exhale, releasing, and staying here as long as you would like.